What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be going over all of the banners, talking about what you should and should not summon on, because we have four banners, we have two weapon banners, which has four weapons for these characters, on top of we have Yoon Jin, which is going to be a new four star, so I wanted to go over all of this stuff for you guys, so that we can get all the info out, and you can understand and know what to do. Now if you guys have not checked out my last video, my last video was a should you summon for Shinha specifically, because uh, I wanted to go over what she did and everything like that and tell you the pros and cons of summoning for this character so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. So if you guys have not checked that video out, make sure you guys check that video out uh, because I'm not going to be covering her as in depth on this video. But uh, I want to talk about the first two banners coming with 2.4 and that is going to be the Shinha banner and the Zhao banner. So starting off, Shinha is going to be a cryo support and she's going to be a support primarily for cryo dps that being ganyu ayaka and potentially potentially eula as well because eula does this out some cryo damage and her being a physical damage she does buff some physical damage too so that is pretty nice now both of these banners have the same four stars right these banners both have the same four stars so the only difference is the five star you are summoning for Zhao being a five-star DPS unit. Now, keep in mind, Zhao doesn't even have his own artifact set um, or his own supports, and he's dishing out uh, a lot of damage, as much damage as a lot of the top DPS in the game. So that alone is really, really good. So if you are looking for a DPS of unit and a DPS unit that doesn't need any supports, Zhao is the guy for you. Um, now, moving on, Shinha is a support. So off the bat, you really don't need her. And I say that because there's already so many supports in the game, you know, being Xing Shou, being Bennett, uh, just every other character in the game. There, there's already so many supports that you don't really need to summon for a support unless you really like her. If you really like her, by all means, go for the character. Um, also, looking at Yoon Jin, you can get Yoon Jin completely free from the event. So you don't even need to summon on either of these banners to get Yoon Jin. You can get her completely free uh, from the event. Now, moving on to the weapons banner, the weapon banner being Calamity Queller and being Primordial Wing Spear. If you guys don't know, uh, Calamity Queller gives attack percent as the stat, and then the passive, it does increase your elemental damage by 12%, which isn't that much. Uh, and then uh, the other part of the passive gives you an attack percent as well even more attack percent now the thing about this is um, The passive doubles the attack percent if you're off the field So basically it's made for Shinha because if you guys don't know Shinha is a support You can pop her ability and then take her off the field which will give her the double uh, stack of the passive for any other character this spear is not that good, right? Because if we're looking at any of the DPS, they want to be on the field. There's no DPS that wants to be off the field. So that's already makes the spear not good for anybody else. Unless you're talking about another support that uses pole arm, but I don't think there really is. I mean, Zhang Ling can use every spear in the game, but th this spear is not really worth it. And then Primordial Jade, number one, you can get this on the standard normal banner. Number one, you can get this on normal banner, so off rip, it's already not something that's a limited resource. You can potentially get it there. But number two, um, the, the spear's good. Primordial Jade is good, but you don't have to have it. If you don't have it now, you don't need to summon now to get it, right? Do not summon on this uh, weapon banner. It's not worth. Uh, obviously, we have some Favonius weapons, and then you got, you got the Leeway Spear, which is nice, which is the Lithic Spear, but... Uh, which is really good for Zhao, but weapon banners just not worth, let's be real. Moving on to the actual good banners. These are the banners you want to be looking at, okay? First off, we have Ganyu, we have Xing Shou, Beidou, and the uh, Yanfei. Um, this banner is very, very good. A lot of value from this banner. Reason being, let's say you're a brand new player. Ganyu is the premium best first unit to have. She does the most damage, and she can do the damage by herself. She doesn't need anybody to do the damage, and she has. A, there's a very good free-to-play weapon. There's a couple of free-to-play options for her. Uh, one of those being, I forgot the name of it, but it's a, a weapon you can craft, and it gives you like attack percent, and then it gives you like increased damage on um, 
it's something like that but anyways that's that's a good weapon for free to play option for her but anyway she she just does so much damage and she can play the game by herself so if you're very new to the game or you're free to play or you don't have an a premium dps for your account ganyu is the first and best choice so um that's really good for you not to mention let's say you randomly feeling lucky you do one multi on the shinha banner you pull shinha you now have a support for ganyu which is already one of the best dps's in the game and you're gonna make her even better so uh that is something for you to look into not to mention ching show is one of the best four stars in the game beto one an amazing four star as well and yanfei she's not like super crazy but i mean you could get her too she's pretty fun you know if that's you know what you want to do but three out of the four units on this banner are amazing units so this is already an insane banner for you if you're looking to summon in 2.4 moving on to the next banner which is Zhang Li. Now, I, I just talked about the best DPS you can have on a starter account, which is Gan Yu. Now let's talk about the best support you can have. Now I'm not saying that Xing Shou's not a good support. I'm not saying Bennett's not a good support or any other character. But if you have your DPS and you need a support to complement that DPS, Zhang Li is your guy. Not only does he have the best shield in the game, not only does the shield not break, and the shield's uptime is longer than the cooldown, but his shield gives, sh it shreds resistance to everything. All elements and physical damage are by 20%. So if you're standing near an enemy with Zhongli's shield, the enemies are getting debuffed, no matter what. Every resistance, every all of it is, is debuffed. So on top of that, he scales with HP. So it's pretty easy to build him uh, opposed to, you know, getting attack percents for every single character in your inventory. So Ganyu is obviously your first choice for DPS. Zhang Li is going to be your first choice uh, as a five star support. So not and like I said, they have the same four stars. Xing Shou and Beidou are both amazing four stars to have as well. Now, looking at the weapon banner um which oh this is the uh calamity queller this is the attack percent that i was talking about it's just not worth right it, so anyways moving on to this weapon banner you have a moss bow which is ganyu's best in slot bow and then you have vortex vanquisher which is not that good of a spear let's be real um if you gave shield strength to everybody it'd be amazing or a lot better but it only gives shield strength to Zhang Li or the person running this spear. So as far as should you summon on this banner, the answer is no. The reason why is because Ganyu already has a lot of free to play options when it comes to her bow. So you don't need, you're not, you're not needing a bow. Not to mention Zhang Li scales off HP. Zhang Li has a, a decent amount of free to play options on his spear as well. Um, and with Ganyu doing so much damage, you're going to be doing good damage without a five star bow anyway. Also, uh, you can get a moss bow on the standard banner as well. So there's a good chance you get this just randomly on the normal banner. Not to mention, if you don't have it by now, um, you probably just shouldn't go out of your way to get it because you either get it eventually or you already have another bow for Ganyu to use. So as far as all of the banners and what you should and should not do, I'm going to be realistic, right? Realistically, Shinha's just a skip. Just 100% she's a skip uh zhao you can get zhao if you really need a dps if you really like the character but let's be real the four stars are not that good you should 100 percent skip the weapon banner right now when ganyu and zhongli come out if you do not have a dps or you like if you're desperately in need ganyu is the girl for you you don't have to summon for her but she does have good four stars on her banner as well then if you need a support slash tank zhongli is the guy for you he is amazing, top tier unit, uh, fits into any comp by himself. So there you guys go as well. So as far as shit you summon, I think Zhao and Shinha are both skips. Unless you really like Zhao, you want a DPS, go ahead. Um, and then as far as the next two banners, Zhang Li and Ganyu are both summons, but it just depends on what you need. If you need both, I mean, maybe you should get both. Uh, but that is completely up to you on who you summon or what you summon. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.